going on, guys? So I'm recording this after the fact because Allie was actually the one out in the wild looking for the cards, but she was not feeling the greatest and wasn't really able to talk over the video. But the first place she checked out was a Dollar General. We were gonna see what they had inside of there. And surprisingly, they did actually have some older Pokemon tins. In the past, these tins have had everything from Sword and Shield base to Evolving Skies to Brilliant Stars. So we were gonna pick up some of those just to see what was inside. Next up, Allie took a trip to Walgreens, which has been surprisingly a place that has saved us on a few of the hunts recently because they have had some really different pack selection of Pokemon cars. As you guys can see from the video, there were some Obsidian Flames along with some Lightning Packs and then some Pokemon tins as well. Those were different than the ones that she saw at Dollar General. But as she was walking through the store, she did stumble across some random Pokemon mystery boxes that we actually haven't opened before. These have things like mini portfolios, sleeves, and packs inside. So she wanted to pick a few of those up as well. And then on the way out, she managed to come across some more Pokemon card, some mystery packs, and some blisters as well that we also haven't seen so that was really cool to be able to find all of that still pretty disappointing pack selection mm -hmm. I may get, there is chilling rain in that. Mm -hmm. I might just grab, and there's a Snorlax, so. Yeah, of course. Had pretty good luck last week. You did. So hopefully that can continue. He needs to be clean. Yeah, he does. He's still cool. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, we are back at home. This is some of the stuff that we picked up from Target, Walgreens, and Dollar General. It is a random selection of products again, but we're gonna be opening some of this stuff up and hopefully we will have some good luck pulling some awesome cards. All right, guys, we are going to be getting started with these Fusion Strike Chilling Rain Blister Packs. The Target's had for a while, but we're going to open these up. Normally, Allie would be starting these videos. She tends to always go first, but she actually is not feeling that well today, since she's pretty much lost her voice. Um, so we're, we're going to kind of hold off on her attempting to speak. Or I don't even know. Can... I don't even have my mic on. Uh, yeah, that's we, we didn't even plan for her to talk. Yeah. So she is kind of laying low on this one. And I am struggling with these mightily. Wow, goodness gracious. I wonder if there's an easier way to kind of pop into these. These are always the problem with these. And I'm going to see maybe if last coin. Oh, come on. One of these has got to work, right? There we go, yeah. maybe. That's the, always the problem with these like little blit is they just, they're pretty much like just paper and there's no real edge to try to open them from. All right, there's those. We'll at least show these off. I'll probably sleeve everything up towards the end, but you guys have seen them before. Nothing real special here other than Snorlax. Um, yeah, exactly. Sure. He's gotten quite a few of those. More Pico is always really cool. More Pico, more Pekka with the Natu in the background. And there's a code card too. Oh, there is a coin. We'll show that off. Zara Aura. It's a pretty nice coin there. Should I try to get all of them open? Maybe so. Should I get the scissors or you think just tear into them and hope for the best?
Okay, we'll clean everything up as we go. We'll get those sleeved up. Let's start with Fusion Stripe. So, you have a chance. Of course, there's the Muse in the set. There's some awesome Genesect cards as well. There's Fusion Strike is a set I tear into like them, pretty good. Best. It's just the pull rate sometimes are I'm very, hoping very hard. This, so come on. Give me a you good really edge. have a tough time not when you're today. this up. Guys, um, this of course, is like this is the set this dude, that hit under a lot here. of controversy. Galarian Obstagoon Reverse. Put, there we and go. And a Butterfree Holographic. Look at that. Just tearing right into that one. So, I tell you what. Starting off with a hollow this. rare. Opening Not these. too bad. I do like butter. Get all of them out. Um, very and fitting we'll go from there. And I'll say, and these, and there, there better be vibes. something good inside but of these. This is the set that came under a lot of controversy right the two sets of that all normally the don't have the greatest bulls and cards. That, cram them, but, what a, hey, what a card. we're going to try it and see people were Maybe today's the day we pull... A golden Stealing. Snorlax on camera. Shelter reverse Sorry and a Kangaskhan non holographic. This and I don't like, know what the pull rates like are like. One of the I don't feel like in the past when we've opened these, we've had great luck with them, but I feel like there's always a chance, right? I mean, these sets are getting older at this point. Chilling Rain and Fusion Strike both, neither one are new. I mean, we're talking about what, two years old, little at this point? Grubbing. Sydney, Tyranitar V, not the craziest pull, but still it is a V card. We're not, we're not uh, batting zero, I'll say right now. We are, we are at least getting something. Now this is the set I'm more curious about. Fusion Strike is the one where I would love one of these days to actually say we pulled something on camera. We've occasionally done it off camera, but it's not very often. Echoing Horn, Deerling, Galarian Slowpoke, Hawthorn, Galarian Your Mask, Snorrent, Celio. Wow. All right. Moving right on through that one. Malamar, not a great card to end on. Nothing against Malamar. If you watch Pokemon X and Y, I don't know. Malamar is just a weird cat in that one. Squid? Is that what he is? Squid? I said Some, weird cat. Well, Octopi. Um, yeah, just, just a strange, strange Pokemon. Agatha, Sneasel, Galarian Farfetch, Furfru, Venipede, Sfeel, Shuppet Reverse, and a Weavile Holographic. We'll sleeve it up. Okay, guys, last pack of Chilling Rain, and then we'll move on. There's always a chance that maybe I'm going to take a look. Oh, I shouldn't have. I, Chilling Rain is that weird set though. There is always a chance that there may be something inside of here, but I doubt it. We'll see. Galarian Slowpoke, Crab Brawler, Grap Locked. Okay, yep, that code card was right. All right. All right, guys, so we are back with this. Unfortunately, we had to kind of change up uh, recording because Allie's just really not feeling that well. So I'm gonna finish it up recording this, but before we get into our 10, we're gonna go into our Yu-Gi-Oh! Everybody knows these. These are the mini figures with base. So, last week we did manage to pull a few more. Hopefully this week we can continue the trend and maybe get a Blue Eyes White Dragon. And unfortunately, no, we're starting it off with Harley or Charlie, we'll call him Charlie Ben. He's not Harley Quinn. Actually, I think it's Saggy the Dark Clown. Soggy, Saggy, one of those. Not really one of my favorite monsters, but we pulled him before. We need somebody new. Come on, get. Is this another Summon Skull? You have got to be kidding me. I mean, he's cool. He's completely covered up. You can kind of get a little side profile there. It's like we just keep getting the same people. I know there's a bunch more we have left to pull. Are these coming from the same box? What? All right, come on. Last person. We need somebody new. And we have... Oh, who is this? Is this a... Oh, man! We pulled the Blue Eyes White Dragon. The headless Blue Eyes White Dragon. Guys, I promise, once we complete this set, I will actually show you these figures put together, all lined up. 
It'll be like an army of Yu-Gi-Oh figures, especially with like the 18 saggy to dark clowns that we're probably gonna pull. But we've pulled Blue Eyes, one of the figures on the front of the pack. There we go. All right, now let's get into our God of War 10 because there is, I believe, a decent chance of having some pretty awesome packs in here. It's been a while since we've opened this up and if I remember right, these cards are actually pretty cool. So let's take a look. There is the Gardevoir. Really pretty colorful card, kind of nice there. There is a code for somebody. So we'll sleeve up the Gardevoir. Most of the pulls so far today have been mostly promos. So we need something good from inside of here. I see a Lost Origins pack here on top. Hopefully this is not a bad selection. Let's just pull them out one by one. Lost or Sword and Shield Base is inside of here, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that. And, oh, everybody's favorite, Rebel Clash is inside the tin. That's not a bad little selection. All of those are a little older at this point. What do you think? Is there, I may do, let's open them in order of like, backwards release how about that let's do lost origin first because everybody knows giratina alternate art right here inside the tin um that pack felt like almost slippery i don't know hopefully that is a good sign i don't know what does a slippery pack mean to you guys here we go first pack in the guard of war 10 we really we really need some cards from lost origin so maybe this can kind of Hopefully that can, oh, nice Oddish. Torkoal Reverse and a Mag Cargo. So again, Lost Origin eludes us. Rebel Clash. It's been a minute since Rebel Clash was open here on the channel. It's, it's been quite a long time since something good was actually pulled from Rebel Clash, or as some people like to say, Rebel Trash. This is oftentimes referred to as the least popular Sword and Shield set. I personally I don't think it's that bad. I think there's some pretty cool cards in here, but I do understand why people say that. There's just not a lot of heavy hitting cards inside of this set, but I feel like you guys see that there is a border of something. I can't tell if it's a V or V Star. We'll see, or not V Star, it'd be a V Mac. Luxio Reverse and a Toxtricity V. That is not bad. I'll take that from Rebel Clash, anything like that. Even though it's just a V card, you gotta take what you can get. You got to take what you can get from Rebel Clash. And look at this, we're ending this with Sword and Shield Base. We're now three, no, I guess four sets in to Scarlet and Violet with Paradox Rift coming out here pretty soon. I've seen some people already opening up some pre-release stuff from that, and a few booster boxes too. We're taking it all the way back to Sword and Shield base with this. We'll go a little slower, just because it's been a while. I like that Krabby. That is a nice Galarian Zigzagoon, looking very uh, playful, we'll say in that card. Silly Cobra, Shin Chin all reverse, and a Delmize V. Cannot tell you how many times We've pulled that card. We haven't even really opened, I feel like, Sword and Shield base in a while, and I feel like I've seen that a ton. That is not a bad way to go, but before we get into this last box, we need to address Snorlax back here. Apparently, he is also sick. I'm not sure if I need to be on the lookout for something going around our house. Is the Pokey Flu? Uh, maybe it's the season for that. He's got the thermometer in his mouth, the ice pack on his head. Maybe he's getting treated for, uh, who knows, with Snorlax. He, he's here with us, though. He's supporting the video. I will say, guys, this is our first time opening this version of this mystery power box. There's only two booster packs in here, so we need something pretty good. The funny thing is, and I'm guessing it's because it says you do get one thing of sleeves and a mini portfolio. It's got some weight to it. There is some pretty heavy stuff inside of here. This feels like the sleeves. Oh, look at that. Nice squirtle sleeves. Wow. Those are actually pretty cool. I'm sure those, you don't see, I feel like, those very often um, in stores. Like, let's see if we can save the packs for last. 
This appears to be the binder. Yep, there's our mini portfolio with Astral Radiant. So does that count as one of our booster packs? Is there just one more pack? In oh, wait, no, there's more than... Wait, so we, oh, okay, so you do get... All right, let's see what we have. That looks maybe like Lost Origin or another Astral. Oh, there we have Lost Origin and then Brilliant. All right, there you go. Lost Origin, Brilliant Stars, and I think that's everything. So, okay, so I did not realize that. Your mini portfolio actually does give you... I was literally thinking it was just going to be an open binder inside of there. Well, I'm glad that's not the case. So let's get that pack out. You guys have kind of seen nice artwork there with the Hisuian starters on the back of that. Let's crack open our Astral Radiance pack first. Maybe we'll get one of those awesome trainer gallery cards that for us seem to be so elusive. Astral Radiance, again, another lot. Astral Radiance and Lost Origin were two sets right back to back that just, for us, uh, were very tough to complete. We still have not completed those, like that Eevee card. And across, Teddy Ursa, Hisuian Braviary, and a Cleaver non hollow. Always like to see Cleaver, but not a really heavy hitting. So we got Lost Origin and Brilliant Stars to end off today's opening. I'm at least going to consider it a win because we pulled a Blue Eyes. We pulled a Blue Eyes White Dragon. It's not the card, but I'm going to consider it about as rare because it's taken forever to do it. All right, Energy. Come on with Lost Origin. Hisuian Sligu. Electric. Electrike, a lot of electricity coming. It's building up, shup it. Worm pull, tie a mo, C dot dot dot, reverse. What is the, mad cargo non hollow. What is the deal with that from Lost Origin? All right, brilliant stars, it is up to you. We need something big because so far, the pulls from this stuff have been a bit of a letdown. And I'm here by myself. There's nobody here with me, so we need something good. Come on, I see a V-Star. Let's get that to the front. I wonder what our first card's gonna be. It's a V-Star, Marka. All right, Claydol, fresh water set. That's good, see, you need some fresh water. Snorlax, you need fresh water. You need to stay hydrated. I hear that all that mucusy sound that you got built up back there. It's not sounding good. Get that fresh water. Electabuzz, Halucha Cha Cha Cha, Chimchar, Reverse, and this is our final card. I'm by myself. I need something good. Don't give me a Cramorant. I don't think there's one in the set, but you know, in my luck, it's going to sneak in there. Chimchar, Reverse, and our final card is. Oh, that is not bad. A Rainbow Rare. Roseanne's back up. Look at all the text down there. Not one of the most, I'll say, hype cards in the set, but not a bad way to end it on a rainbow rare. Look, I mean, give me some credit. Give me some credit. It's tough. It's tough out here in these streets. And I'm hitting the camera too. All right, let's go through the very disappointing sleeve club. So we got Roseanne's back up, the rainbow rare ending this off. Our few of our pulls, um, and we're gonna go through these very quickly because there's not a ton of them. And then Butterfree right there at the end, along with all of our other ones from the Fusion Strike and uh, yeah, those packs. Well guys, I hope you at least enjoyed the video. I know it's a little bit different today, but make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and we will talk to everyone later.